All right, so we're basically going to do a scope here because we got some angioedema going on. You're okay if I make a teaching video of this? Yes. All right. I don't mind. I came for the teaching hospital. I've been yeah, there you go. all my life. So There you go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And so Carissa is our operator here. Do, yeah. you, do you have any no, idea if yeah. you have a deviation if one nostrils? No, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to squirt. This is a nasal decongestant. We're going to squirt this up your nose, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, you just sniff real hard. One, two, three. It doesn't taste good. Mm -hmm. I'll do both sides, too. <coughs> you feel it running down your throat? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. you probably need to sit her up a little more, too. Try a little bit more over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her posture probably needs to sit up more. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the best posture if we have you. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll give you your pillows back after we do this. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Are you comfortable like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then this yeah. this is a numbing spray. Okay. I'm gonna spray this in the back of your throat. So stick your tongue out really wide. It tastes bad, but swallow it. Okay. Uh. 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 Yeah, it tastes bad. Sorry. You okay? Yeah, it's all right. Suppose it tastes like bananas. <laughs> it's really bad bananas. I That's why they got in the yellow container. Yeah. I don't think it tastes like that. Feel funny It'll make there? you feel like your throat is kind of closing up a little bit. It's mm -hmm. not. Okay. It, it's just not. We'll do one more little squirt. Okay, stick your tongue way out. You want to give her some nebulized body of OGL. I'm just going to squirt. Add a mouse and body thing. Mm -hmm. I got two implants got to be covered. You probably saw them back then. I didn't. Mm -hmm. All right, this is one more. This is lidocaine. She's okay. a nurse, so she knows. Mm -hmm. Okay, so stick your tongue way out again. And this one's down. Lidocaine. Go through the nose. I, I didn't see the atomizer in there. That's an atomizer. That's an atomizer. But the, the nose piece. Or are you talking to yeah, squirt this? That'll work. That'll yeah. work. Oh. That'll work just okay. fine. All right, now I'll do one up here, okay? Mm -hmm. How's it feeling back there? It's, I feel it going down. Does it, it don't feel, feel funny numb. back there? Not yet. You don't feel numb. No. You need to get a little bit more lidocaine in your nose. Mm -hmm. okay. right, you feel a lot of pressure when the, when the uh, scope goes in. Okay. 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 I can't swallow, so I think it's getting numb. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's one way to tell. <laughs> I don't mean to walk in front of your lips. Okay. So can you guys talk us through this? Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a nasopharyngeal scope. Um, so we are not anticipating needing to intubate her or else we will be using the longer scope. Which okay. would be loaded with a tube on it. So I'm going to put a little bit of surgical lube on the tube but not get it on the distal tip of it because then you won't be able to see. So. All right. So and so what's the indication? Where are we doing this? So this lady has angioedema of the upper lip. All right, I'm just going to get a side shot. And she also has some in the submandibular space. So just making sure yeah. she doesn't have. So a little swelling down here and then, and then the, the upper and lip. And we're going to switch mm -hmm. places with you. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm moving out of the way. <clears throat> what did you do with those 4 by 4s So as far as technique, you drive this kind of like airplane controls up is down and down is up. And when you go, when you enter the nose, you actually want to ride the floor of the nose below the turbinates and then just let it kind of go with the natural curvature of the posterior pharynx, nasopharynx. When, so, you, when, you, when you go, when you get to the back of the posterior pharynx or, or nasopharynx and you get a little bit of resistance, you actually want to gently articulate, just gently. It'll, it'll curve down and it'll go along with the the natural curvature and then you'll get and then you can advance it even more and then you can kind of let off on it and you can see the uh okay the so show, show again if you go the opposite direction what happens if you go the opposite direction then the tip articulates and backwards and it's uncomfortable for yeah. the patient you so don't want to go there up so. is down down is up it's like airplane control got it okay all right you ready friend yeah You literally want to aim downward when you're doing it. Because you get a little resistance, press up. So, perfect. Rotate it, rotate a little bit so it's in the center. So there's 
The epiglottis is not swollen at all. Yeah, it looks great. Um, there's a little bit of cobblestone in the posterior pharynx, which would, in, which would just indicate probably allergic, like a histamine-mediated uh, reaction, which is consistent with this patient's history. She's not on an ACE inhibitor and no known history of C1S deficiency. The arytenoids are without any edema, and the vocal cords are without any edema as well. Her airway is wide open. So it would be considered a negative study, with the exception of the cobblestone, which you can see really well right there in that picture. Good. And then you always let go. You don't, you don't want to pull out with it articulated. You always let go so it'll return back to a neutral position. That's and that's it. it. Looks good back there, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for having us do this. Appreciate it.